Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to uh, show you uh, this uh, visualizer from Paco2. It's a very practical thing to have uh, uh, if you work with documents, uh, you can scan them, you can do presentation and also it works as a webcam, so let's get into the video. This other box looks like, uh, here's the brand name, uh, the model is a PA800, it's a 5 megapixel uh, with, uh, which films at uh, 30 frames per second uh, and the max layout is uh, A3. It has LED light, autofocus, uh, ISO can be controlled and also reversed uh, left and right. Uh, here is compatible with uh, uh, different uh, operation systems, uh, but the most important is to see what is inside, so I'm just going to open it right now. First thing that we see is the user manual, which is pretty handy to have a look at. And this is uh, the product. And what is really interesting is that this one is uh, ready to be used. Uh, so uh, here, the first thing that we see, we have a USB-C to a USB-A uh, adapter. And uh, here is the product. Uh, and as you can see, it's very easy to control and to move it around. Oh, but uh, we will get into more details a bit later in the video. And uh, this is the cable. I really like the fact that it's a, a long cable. Yeah, it goes like this, and this one is a uh, USB-A. Uh, and now uh, I'll show you a couple of things about it. Uh, this is the building quality. Uh, this is the base, uh, uh, the head basically. And uh, here at the bottom, it has uh, four anti-slip legs, and uh, it makes which makes it stable uh, on any kind of surface. And this is the first overview of the visualizer. As you can see, uh, it stays properly on the table, and I really like the fact that it's very easy to adjust its position based on a preference. You can go like this or like this, or you can transform it into a webcam very fast just by uh, changing the position of the head, uh, which is extremely practical. And I'd like to show you what uh, the buttons do. This one is to flip uh, the image left and right. Uh, this one is uh, the autofocus button, and this one to, uh, is to increase the intensity of the light based on your preference. Now here at the top there is the lens and uh, there's also this uh, circle which represents the light uh, and has a diffuser and if you just uh, tap gently uh, here where it shows the sign then the active, uh, light will activate and if you press one more time there is going to be more light and this is the max intensity so it has three modes and if you press one more time the light will uh, stop. Now there are uh, two ways to use this one, either you connect it with uh, uh, USB-A, it's on port, or you can use this adapter over here to use it with uh, USB-C. And uh, the next thing that you have to do is just activate the camera on your laptop and uh, from there the visualizer is uh, ready to be used. Now as you can see this is how it looks uh, when I activated the camera on my uh, computer and uh, the visualizer is on. Uh, and it has a very good uh, response rate. Uh, it says that uh, 30 frames per second and the quality is uh, really good. So for this demonstration, I have here the user manual just uh, to give you an insight. And obviously I'm gonna change the position in order to get this one uh, properly uh, in focus and also uh, in terms of uh, size full. And uh, you can see now the distance uh, to the subject. And for example, if I would like to change uh, uh, the angle, I just uh, move it with my hand and in order to get it properly focused, I press the focus button uh, on the device and uh, this is the result. Obviously, based on your preference, you can uh, adjust also the head just to get it uh, straight like this. Or you can flip uh, the uh, image uh, just by pressing the button. And uh, for example, I would like now to change just like this. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't cover the whole uh, surface. And for example, if I put it very uh, uh, high, I would say, then this one is going to cover and I just have to press a bit the focus button and you can get a, a very clear image. And uh, for example, uh, if I activate, if I press on the light, then the ISO or is going to add more light based uh, on your preference and based on the environment where you're using this uh, product. And uh, yeah, I'm going to just do it one more time for this demonstration. And uh, as well, if you would like to get very, very small details, then you just go like very, very close. For example, just like this, press the uh, autofocus button and uh, probably now it's at a distance of uh, I could say like five centimeters from this paper and you can see the details are very good. At the same time, you can uh, use this uh, visualizer uh, as a webcam. For example, now you can see me over here and I'm just gonna flip it like this and I'm just gonna press the autofocus button and as you can see, uh, you can obviously adjust the angle based on a preference just like this or like this until you get uh, the image straight and it's simple as that. And uh, also, uh, you can uh, redu increase the intensity of the light based on the environment, just like this. Or you can just tap on uh, the basically next to the lens, 
three times and uh, then it's gonna get uh, more light uh, on a subject. There's also another thing that I would like to mention about this product uh, is the fact that here it has a microphone so you can use also this feature which is a very um, good and uh, in terms of building quality this is absolutely great. Uh, it's uh, stable, the connection cable is quite long also the arm uh, uh, it's uh, very easy to adjust. Uh, the image quality is good, you can use it also as a webcam, uh, you can adjust the intensity of the light. So yeah I'm pretty satisfied so I highly recommend it.